All right, and we are celebrating Black History Month. There are two exhibitions at the Wadsworth Athenaeum Museum of Art in Hartford paying homage to black culture. And Amber, some of the images on display were captured by students in Connecticut. NBC Connecticut's Briseta Lanaverde joins us live now from downtown to share more of the details. Briseta. Yeah, well, Kevin and Amber, both exhibitions focus on homes, how homes have played a role in black history and how they represent success. You are seeing a bunch of contemporary photography created by teen artists. On Friday morning, Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz kicked off Black History yeah, Month by touring house. two um, exhibitions at the Wadsworth okay. Anthony yeah, Museum of Art in really Hartford. There are um, amazing works of art uh, by black photographers, and this is something that you don't normally see in museums. This montage is by the artist John Kinder Hughes. Upstairs, there is the love overflowing home and decor of Freedom Showcase. The artwork highlights notable black Americans and how they use their homes to reflect on their achievements. He fished, he learned to hunt, he rode his bike, he had free reign there when he was with his grandparents and has these great memories of that time. And thinking about the ways that images of black families evolved and changed from the emancipation moment uh, into the present. One of the most eye-catching pieces and a place where people can take selfies is the Ebony Test Kitchen replica. The wallpaper was known for being inside the historic Johnson Publishing Building in Chicago, which produced the iconic Ebony magazine. As sort of an iconic site that nurtured people's understandings of the value of home and kitchen and sort of culinary practice as it emerged in the 20th century. Back on the first floor, an image captures a student standing right in front of the Ebony Test Kitchen. I would say that this moment here is this sort of collapsing of time in a moment where we're really celebrating our history. That image is part of the There Is Always Something Left to Love exhibit. All of the contemporary work was captured by teenagers in Hartford and surrounding towns. For a teen work specific to Hartford to be shown here is completely, it's unprecedented and it's also really important for visibility and showing that the museum's strategic pillars are for the community. Now those pictures captured by students were absolutely breathtaking. We'll have more on them coming up at 5 and how the portfolios that they have created will help them in their careers. Live in Hartford, Brisa Landa Verde, NBC Connecticut News. Back to you.